Before the official persecution and killing of Jews, Adolf Hitler, the dictator of Nazi Germany, began to place blame on the Jewish population for the Lost World War. While he passed laws against the Jewish people that would slowly dehumanize and create prejudice against them, such as not allowing them to participate in legislature, no longer having citizenship, doctors and lawyers could no longer practice their work, and store owners could no longer own or work in their own stores, all up until the point where they were forced to wear the yellow stars, labeling them as Jews, then forcefully moved to ghettos and misnamed concentration camps that would take 6 million Jewish lives in a span of 12 years. During this time, Hitler began to talk about an Aryan race, a perfect race that would always come out on top because of their natural superiority. The perfect Aryan was described as fair, blue-eyed, and blonde-haired. This gave people something to be proud of when things to be proudful of was low. While Hitler was a totalitarian dictator of Nazi Germany, many were against his rule and Nazi ideals. This led for the July Plot, otherwise known as Operation Valkyrie. There had been many other assassination attempts by smaller groups in hopes to overthrow his fascist and totalitarian government, which led Hitler to become very suspicious and self-guarded. The July plot was created by high government officials that were in Hitler's innermost circle that realized that Hitler was taking Germany on a suicide trip. They hoped that Berlin could save them before they were completely destroyed by the Allies. The inventors of the July plot included Colonel General Ludwig Beck, the former Chief of the Army, General Staff, Colonel General Frederick Ulbricht, Major General Henning von Treskow, and Lieutenant the Colonel Claus Schneck von Staffenberg. On July 20th, 1944, during a meeting in the Wolfslayer, Stauffenberg placed an explosive packed briefcase underneath the table that Hitler was sitting at. The bombs detonated at 12.42 p.m. One person died instantly, and three others were mortally hurt. Hitler, although, got out of the attempt, and well enough to meet with Italy's fascist leader, Benito Mussolini, the same day. There were multiple reasons why the plan failed. Firstly, where the assassination attempt took place. The original meeting was planned to be held in Berchtega Garden, Germany, near Hitler's retreat, but it was moved to Hitler's wolf lair in Prussia. The change of setting caused Stauffenberg to have to change where the plan was going to take place and the other logistics involved. Due to this change, some plans had to be modified quickly and many problems came through. Stauffenberg walked in and set down one of his two briefcases, both of which contained a primed bomb, and excused himself saying that he needed to make a call. Colonel Heinz Brandt, who was invited to the meeting alongside Hitler, moved the bomb to get a better look at the table-sized map in the room. This proved fatal for Brandt and the operation. When the bomb went off, it was not close enough to Hitler to kill him. It did, however, cause major burns and trying as well as temporary loss of use in his left arm. Having escaped death in so extraordinary a way, I am now more than ever convinced that the great cause which I serve will survive its present perils and that everything can be brought to a good end. Stauffenberg, seeing the smoke, assumed the plan had succeeded and left the base and headed for the nearest airfield to go to Berlin, leaving the second bomb along the way. The assassination attempt was not the entire plan, but a planned distraction and its main purpose was to send headquarters into chaos and disorder. While Stauffenberg used Germany's reserve army to overthrow the Nazi leaders in Germany's government. The creators of the plan were shocked to hear that the plan had failed and that Hitler was very much alive. Johannes Tuchel of the German Resistance Memorial Center in Berlin said that if either the second bomb had been used, or if the meeting was going to take place in the original concrete walled room, or the bomb had not been moved in the first place, Hitler would have been killed from the assassination attempt. General Frederick Form turned on Stauffenberg, describing their plot and attempt to try and save himself from his ties to the operation. Following this, Stauffenberg and co-conspirator Colonel General Frederick Ulbricht were arrested and executed by firing squad on July 21st of 1944. Another creator of the operation, Major General Henning von Treskow, committed suicide. Ern Rommel, a high-ranking and highly respected field officer, was given the option of suicide or trial. He chose suicide so as to spare his family. 200 others associated with the plan were executed, which mainly consisted of the soldiers from the reserve army that were willing to work along with the plot. The failed operation only worsened the genocide that was happening in Germany. Hitler took firmer control of his army, believing that God had spared him, and that was a sign that what he was doing was the right and just thing to do. During Hitler's reign, 6 million Jews were killed while overall 75 to 80 million people were killed from the results of Hitler's actions.